conducting preference assessments. We're going to talk about four types of preference assessments that might be on your exam. We're going to talk about free operant assessments, forced choice assessments, multiple stimulus with replacement, and multiple stimulus without. Free operant is the simplest one. You simply let the child play in his natural environment and observe and time what he's engaging in, what he goes to, things like that. Free operant is good for a child who doesn't choose items or maybe a child who only chooses the left item or a child who gets upset when preferred items are taken away. Forced choice is you have two items and you make the child choose. And once they choose that item, you replace it with something else and you choose again. Place it, choose again. So you're using two items, forcing them to choose, creating a hierarchy that way. And then multiple stimulus is three or more items in an array. So multiple stimulus with replacement. If you had three items, the child would pick an item and then you would take the other two items away, replace those. So you have the original item and two new items and the multiple stimulus without replacement, three items, child picks an item, you take that item away and you don't replace it. Something very important to note is a preference assessment is not a reinforcer assessment. So just because they prefer it or they like it doesn't make it a reinforcer. Remember, a reinforcer has to change behavior.